We are going over Detroit Lions news here for today's video. On this Friday here, we're going to be talking about Jameer Gibbs, the expectations for him. Go over the article, what I think he's going to do. Detroit Lions schedule, win and loss predictions from the mainstream media. We're going to go with what they think the Lions win-loss record is going to be. It kind of makes me feel a little bit happier. And, hey, that's what it's all about here. And we're talking about Jared Goff as well. Let's go. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not done so. Why is that? Well, it makes life easier when you're trying to grow a channel, and it continues to grow. So go ahead and smash that sub button here. Let's get into this right here. And Jameer is expected to get a lot more touches this year, Brad Holmes says, talking about Jameer Gibbs. And this is exactly what I think we all thought was going to happen. I think he's going to take over that number one role, and now Montgomery is going to be placed at number two. Jameer Gibbs is going to be shown a little bit more. Remember, David Montgomery's last year in Detroit is this year unless they re-sign him or extend him. He only did a two-year deal, and Jameer Gibbs, they drafted. They want him to probably be the featured back. And my expectations for Jameer Gibbs is he's going to be the feature back. Matter of fact, my expectations for Jameer Gibbs is extremely high. I think he's going to assert himself as the best running back in football this year. I think he showed the brilliance last year, almost 1,000 yards for a rookie. And you had David Montgomery who did 1,000 yards. Lions can run the football, and we've seen what Gibbs can do. He gets in the open field, it's over. And he is very patient. He, he finds the hole. He hits it. I mean, watching that Raiders game last year, him just going in the hole in the middle of the offensive line and somehow break out of that bad boy for big yards is exactly what we need here in Detroit. We need a running back that can do it all, and he can do it all. He can go on the outside. He can go on the inside. And as a wide receiver and catching a running back, he can do that as well. He's amazing. Jameer Gibbs is one of the most explosive players in the NFL. And... I agree with Brad Holmes. He's going to get a lot more touches. He's going to be the featured back. He will be the featured back for the Detroit Lions this year. So I'm super excited for Jameer Gibbs. High expectations for him to get the job done this year. Let me know in the comment section right now. What is your expectations for Jameer Gibbs? Do you think that he's going to be the best running back in football? Do you think he's going to be um, a running back? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And let's continue on here talking about the Detroit Lions schedule record prediction here from the Sporting News. I kind of wanted to see what they thought with their, their analysts and then our local ones as well. And Lions record from Fox Sports here, 11-6. and Kind of what we thought is there's a thing about the division is that you have to play the first place schedule the following season. And that's the predicament for the Lions find themselves in. Their schedule is headlined by Buffalo Bills, Houston Texans, and their top competition, the NFC North Green Bay Packers. And a rematch with San Francisco. The good news, Lions should be up for it. The general manager shored up the secondary of the offseason, acquiring three good corners via trade, while also providing depth at the trenches and both sides of the ball. Quarterback Jared Goff received the richest vote in confidence. He could have asked for an extension that makes him the second highest paid quarterback annual contract value. And now he has an incentive to live up to it. Dan Campbell, guys, knows it's like they have a Super Bowl in the sights and they have ripped it away from them. They're, lo they're not looking to feel the way again this year, 100%. Um, I think 11 and 6 is is fine. That's that's probably where I would have it. Heck, Maurice Mo Moten from Bleach Reports is 13 and 5, even better than most of us. The Lions continually offense be play calling by Ben Johnson, passing up head coaching job state of Detroit this year. Wide receiver Josh Reynolds in free agency, but his departure could he be more opportunities for Jameson Williams. Detroit lost guard Hal Pluti, Vati Vata, and Jonah Jacks Fregis, but signed Kevin Zeitler. Most importantly, the Lions addressed their biggest defensive weakness by adding multiple cornerbacks to Meek Robinson, Carlton Davis, and Terrian Arnold and Ants Rex on the draft. Over the past two seasons, Lions offense is a surge of saying this season their defensive additions could take them to another level. If they go 13 and 5, they're going to be the number one seed in the NFL because this is a brutal schedule. And if you go 13 and 5 in this schedule, you did good. You did real good. Real, real good. Even though 13 and 5, it should actually be 13 and 4. So this is off here. 13 and 4, there's not 18 games in the regular season. Okay. 11 and 6, Mosher from the 33rd team. This is interesting one. This is the Detroit Lions, just a few plays. 
Play in the Super Bowl. Find a franchise history in marvelous season, and Dan Campbell turned the into a bona fide contender. The best news of the offseason, they retained Ben Johnson. Like views the NFL's brightest offensive minds. Should have competitive again this year. Yeah, I agree. Uh, eleven and six. That's eleven and six or twelve wins. I think that could be uh, perfect. That that's about it, right? Eleven and six or twelve and five, not thirteen and five, but be thirteen and four. Those are, are generally viewed as the normal amount. Uh, what is your guys' win loss record? I, I'm going to hang between eleven and twelve. That seems about right. It's a tougher schedule than last year, but the Lions are a better football team than last year, so I think they can live up to it. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal schedule, but guess what? That's good. It just makes that iron sharpening iron. So I'm going to go with 11 or 12 wins. What do you guys have wins for the Detroit Lions? We're going to get into the next schedule here, and we're going to do a, it goes a win by win or game by game for M Live. And this is interesting here because we're talking about the local beat writers and not me. And I don't feel like a homer now because I had the Lions winning. Early, a lot. Guess what? So did they. They have the Detroit Lions beating Kyle Mikey, beating the Rams there, and same with Ben from M Live. Same. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they both got the wins. Same, 2 0. Arizona Cardinals, win win, 3 0. I did the same thing, 3 0. Seattle Seahawks, win win. 4-0, so we were undefeated headed into the bye week. I, that's kind of what I have right there. I have the same thing, 4-0. Now, Dallas Cowboys here, they got the loss and a loss, and I, I haven't, I'm haven't. i not going to read all this, but I'm going to assume you know, you're going to get a loss here and there. And it's the Dallas referees. I want to win. I think the Lions win the game, but I can see why they put a loss. No argument. Minnesota Vikings, win-win. I agree. Lions being five and one at this point. Burst the Tennessee Titans win win year. Six and one. I agree. They're better than the Tennessee Titans. At Green Bay, they got loss and a win. So we got a mix mixture here. I'm gonna go with Kyle. I think it's probably gonna be a loss here. The Green Bay Packers are at home, and I don't think it's gonna happen like at last year where we beat them that hardcore at their house. Be a little bit different. They're a better football team now. But Hey, Ben's got him winning. Let's see here. Houston Texans, the, the biggest game for me of the year. Hardcore game. They got losing, both of them. I have a loss here, too. It could be a win, right? It's going to be back and forth, but it's at Houston. A really good team. Don't have a problem with that. Versus Jacksonville Jaguars win. Win. I agree. Uh, we, but let, let's keep it 100. You don't know what team Jacksonville will show up, right? They could be a team that is really good. We wouldn't know. They're just a weird football team, but they're on a bad losing streak last year at the end of the season, so I'm going to say it's a Lions win. Indianapolis Colts, they both got wins here. But he can't stay healthy. I don't know if that's me. The way he's the one. Win-win. So a lot of wins from the beat writers. Chicago Bears, Thanksgiving, both got wins finally on Thanksgiving here. Lions are having a good – look, if this plays out the way it is, and th this is – the local beat writers, they're on the same page that we are all on, right? I have a lot of wins, too. <laughs> I thought I was a homer when I was putting them 12 to 13 wins. I mean, or 11, 12, 13. 13 is homerish, right? But other people are doing it as well because Lions are a better football team than these teams. Packers. They got win. Win. So Ben's got <laughs> Beat them twice. Uh, win here. I do have them winning at, at home at Detroit, unlike last year, where we won their house and then we lost at our house. It'd be, I have it flipping. Buffalo Bills, we got a win and a loss there for both. Again, I can see both reasons. You can win and loss. It's going to be a close one, but I, I have a win. Chicago Bears, they got win and a win, so they think we're going to sweep the Bears. I disagree. I don't think we're going to sweep the Bears. Um, they are a better football team. I know Caleb Williams, by that time, too, will have a lot of games under his belt. Yeah, he'll be he's still uh, essentially a rookie, but he'll have plenty of a game, game on him, and he'll improve. Let's see here. Loss for San Francisco and a loss as well. So losing to San Francisco, 
that would be a bummer because we gotta we gotta beat them to get that tie. It's gonna be close between the record of San Francisco and Detroit. We have to win this game, man. Like I have us losing two, but we really gotta win that game. Get that home field advantage. To be determined. Win win. They both got records of thirteen and four. Now I was thinking I was a homer when when my win loss came up to thirteen when I was going through each schedule. Apparently not. So it's good to see that other people are on the same page with me and it's not making me look stupid. What is your overall record for the Detroit Lions this upcoming season? 12 and 4? Or sorry, 13 and 4? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Jared Goff did his press conference, and I got to say, I'm going to do the takeaways from my takeaways from the press conference here is Jared Goff is confident. Cocky and he ain't taking nothing from nobody anymore. And I like it. You get tired of the dumb questions. And I watched that press conference. I don't know what reporter kept asking the dumbest questions. And it was trying to get under Goff's skin. And you could tell Goff don't like the guy. I, I, I don't like the guy. I think he's just trying to get a bad take from him so they can make a video about her. It's kind of get to go viral. Seems like he was goading him a little bit. And I'm not a fan of that stuff. Um, Jared Goff's confident. He he's gonna work up to his contract. He wants to be in Detroit. There's no trade clause. That's great. He don't want to get traded again. He wants to stay in Detroit. He wants to finish his career in Detroit. That's awesome. Love it. I I really do believe it. I really think he loves Detroit. I mean, when you have people chant your name and the amount of love that he get because you win here in Detroit, you're gonna get love that lasts forever. It's different than other teams and he literally is the king of Detroit because of what he did last year. And, uh, you know, it's happy to see him smile and, and get the money that he get. I'm happy for Jared Goff as a human being. I don't, even if you don't like Jared Goff as a quarterback, you cannot be not happy for him as a human being, what he went through. So, you know, I wish him nothing but the best, happy for him, and be cocky. Don't take no BS anymore. With that said, folks, adios.